Hello friends, welcome to my channel. If you're new, you're very welcome. My name is Anita Fon and if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe, like, comment, share with your friends and hit the notification bell so you always get notified each and every time I upload a new tutorial on my channel. And if you're a old member, you're welcome back. Thank you for always coming back to my channel. Today I will show you how to sew your shirt. Yeah, in my other tutorial, I didn't show you guys on how to draft the pattern. Today we're going to be sewing it. So if you didn't check the other tutorial, go ahead and check it out. Follow the instruction, make your pattern and come. Let's sew together. As you can see, this is the pattern we draft on my other tutorial. You can see, I just went ahead and I cut everything up. I placed it on the, my fabric and I cut it up. But I added 2 cm here. As you can see, I added 2 cm the down after because i wanted it to be a little bit longer i already went ahead and i pinned the both side facing each other you're going to pin it like so this at the both side facing each other and also you'll be needing i'll be putting uh, a waistband we use my waistband this is my waistband so what i did is i simply when i measured i i, I measured the length the while of my elastic which was two and a half centimeters so i cut my pan of uh, five centimeter wide by the waist of this which is 44 by two so we're going to take it to uh, our lock machine right now and we're going to stitch overlock it here here you can see here with the front and the back so let's move over to our lock machine so now that we are uh, yeah, here on our lock machine, as you can see, I really when I set my overlock on, put everything I shred that on. So we are simply going to be putting this like so. So you can see like what I have here. Making sure when you're getting closer to the pin, you remove them. If not, you're going to break your needle. Okay, one thing I wanted to say is advisable for you to start from this top part going down. Okay, so as you can see, I'll just pick up. Put that down. I'm going to so I'm getting to my curve and make sure you really get to the curve gently, okay? I'll do the same thing with the other side, lifting it up like so. I lift up my overlock feet. Go ahead, start. So as you can see, this is what we went ahead on this so far. As you can see, the thing was a little bit tighter. That is why it's making my hand, but it's not bad. It's just going inside. We're simply going to remove our pins again. Moving the pin, open this up like so. You can see, putting the, the front, open it up like so. This is when the front is going to come together. And you're going to put the crush together like so. Like so I put my pins, making sure everything is up together. Put my pin. I come here at the center, making sure these two center are together. And I put my pins. Doing the same thing here. So we're still going to go to our lock and run over it like so. Let me just do that and come back and show you the next step. I so as you can see, I went ahead and I also stitched this on with the overlock and want to turn that up like so. So you can see this is what we got. We just go ahead and press that up. You have something very beautiful. So let's just go first of all, go ahead and press this up to straighten this arm before moving to the next steps. Okay. So when I ahead and press that up, what we're simply going to do right now, you can see this is what I did. So you can see. So we're going to uh, join the waistband. Okay. Just half a centimeter with the overlock to overlock machine. And I will do that. Come back and show you guys. So as you can see, I went ahead and uh, joined the waistband. We're going to put it like so. So you can see, just like so, with the 
let me check which one is the, the back okay so we're going to put like so let's see it's a, just like so making sure these two seams are fetching each other we'll put our pin first put my pin do the same thing round and round so i'm just going to be folding it just like so putting a pin and so we are done So I went ahead and I pinned everything up together so you can see the waistband with the trouser. So let's go, go to our, our lock machine and we're going to overlock that, okay? So you can see, you're just going to place it like so. You make sure when you're still overlocking it, make sure all the fabrics are all together, okay? And we're going to be leaving like two centimeter open that we're going to be putting our elastic through that two centimeter. Remember, when you are overlocking it, you leave two centimeters open. If not, you won't be able to put the elastic inside. Okay? You just put it like so. And then I lift it up and I put it under, making sure I'm holding all the piece, all the three pieces together to stitch that up. So I'm coming closer to your pins to remove them. If not, you're going to break your needle. Holding my pins together, making sure all the things come closer to my pins. I move them. This one there. You're getting closer to your pins. Please remove it. I'm making sure all my three pins are together. Okay, and you're stitching and going. If not measurement of my waist okay my waist is actually 68 so when i had a measurement last week by 68 you're going to grab a safety pin put it like so we're going to be putting it through the hole that we left the two centimeters that we left here and later on we're going to join it back so you can see open this up like so put the elastic inside Do like so till you get to the end. So as you can see, this is what I went ahead and I did. I just went ahead and placed elastic inside. We're going to be placing it like so. so you can see, put it straight like so. Now we run a zigzag stitch over here. Okay? A zigzag stitch. You can see, we're going to run a zigzag stitch. my thread I also do the same thing on the side to hold them all together all right now we are done running our zigzag stitch you can see this is what we have the zigzag stitch here and did it here so I can turn this straight up so we're just going to send this inside like so. Alright, we're almost there. And now we're going to go to our overlock and finish this. But make sure you don't hold your elastic, okay? You're not stitch uh, overlocking the elastic together. Just the two pieces that's remaining. Let me just do that and come back and show you the next step. So I went ahead and I finished the where was it? I don't know where it is. The opening for the elastic that we left. So now what we're going to do, we're simply going to hem our trouser. Our shot, you're going to fold like so one centimeter in, 
and in one inch we'll be hemming up for we'll just one in okay put in our pins we put our pin making sure the pins are all together do the same thing here on the side seams one and one we'll be hemmed up up together just like so okay I will hem all through round. Also do the same thing here, the other side. That's one. We fold one in. You can see, and uh, one in. Just one centimeter. Not more, not less. We put up in. So let's move over to our sewing machine. So you make sure you're sewing only one centimeter. And when you're sewing, don't look at your needle. Look at the, the distance between there. So I'm going to start right now. Remember, you shouldn't look at your needle, okay? If you want to sew straight. When we get to the end with that stitch and we cut our thread we're going to press that up as you can see we are done we're going to press it up and show you guys the final look as you can see here is the final look guys so when i hope it's quite really beautiful the material is really beautiful so i hope that you guys love it please don't forget to give me a thumbs up like comment share with your friends see you in my next project it's really super cute so bye bye guys